Well, the snowy weather is here, and that means you'll be using your 4 by 4 a little bit more often. So, what do you do when you get stuck in the snow? You know, you call AAA. <laughs> Our Monday morning mechanic, David Rogers, from Keller Brothers Auto Repair, has some other ideas as well. Hi, David. Hey, Tom. Hi, Natalie. Tom, you're totally right. I mean, it would be so much better if people would call AAA instead of taking Dad's advice, because I don't know about you, but my dad told me, hey, when you get stuck, Take the car and rock it back and forth, put it in reverse, then put it in drive, put it in reverse, put it in drive until it'll rock it right out of there. Well, that's a great idea. Maybe when my dad was buying his first car and a transmission cost a hundred bucks, you know, you could afford to rock it in and out of gear. But today, it's a very bad idea. And let me show you why. This here is, is an example of an engine or transmission mount. And what you have is some good hard steel down here, and it bolts to the frame. These actually hold the whole engine tightly in. You can imagine when you step on the gas really hard, you slam on the brakes, what stops the engine from going right into your lap or falling out the front of the car? Well, it's these. And the fact of the matter is something like this can cost just the part, about 500 bucks. Some of them are filled with hydraulic fluid. They're made out of rubber too. You can see how this one has been torn up. And this is from rocking back and forth. And so what happens is you put all that torque on there and the parts of this that are rubber that are made to reduce the vibration of the engine and the car, or the transmission, those parts, you know, they're not designed for that kind of torque to just be ripped and rocked like that. So it tears. And while this is tearing, it gets worse. It's not only the 500 bucks you're going to spend on this or the labor to put it in. <coughs> the worst problem is, imagine that fan you have in the front of the motor. Imagine what happens if the whole motor is inside a box and the fan's right up here in front and then the motor shifts forward. What's going to happen? It's going to break the fan. It's going to destroy the radiator. It's going to tear hoses. Here's an accelerator cable. I mean, this is, this is your throttle cable when you push on the gas, right? This is what actuates. Well, see where it's yellow? I highlighted it. You can actually see that some of the wires are sticking out on this accelerator cable. Why? Because some mounts were loose inside the vehicle and the engine and the transmission were rocking back and forth and they were causing this accelerator cable to rub. Well, there's another three or four hundred bucks worth of a problem. I mean, this is just not what you need. Now, I can go through here and show you example of ex after example of mounts that have just completely worn. That should not move like that. That should be steady. You know, this one here, you can see where it's ripped out at the bottom. I mean, it's just unbelievable. So let me show you how you should really do this. I'm gonna demonstrate on my car here. We're gonna pretend it's stuck in the snow. And <clears throat> the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna carry a really good shovel. I love these because they're lightweight, they're aluminum, they don't weigh anything. Anyone can handle one, and it's sturdy. But the first thing you're gonna do when you're stuck is you're gonna take that shovel and you're gonna get it down under the wheel and you're gonna scrape out the snow and dig down as far as you can. Once you get it dug out in the front, dig it out in the back and do that to both wheels. So you're going to dig out behind them and you're going to dig out in front of them all the way around. Now, the trick to this, after you dig that out, you were slipping and sliding on ice and snow, right? Well, here's how you fix it. This, and it doesn't matter what brand, just get a bag of cat litter and keep it in the car all winter. The extra weight won't hurt at all from keep you from sliding, but when you get stuck, you dig that snow out from underneath and then you pour the cat litter down under here for traction, okay? And by emptying that cat litter before and after each wheel, now instead of, instead of sticking and sliding on the ice and the snow, what ends up happening is you end up getting some purchase or some traction on that gravel and it pulls you right out. So that's the key here. Don't rock back and forth because these three, four hundred dollar pieces of junk I have in my hand here that you'll have to replace, there's probably four of them on your car, maybe six in some cars. You don't want that kind of expense. And in addition to it, the other things that's going to damage aren't worth it. Be careful. Drive slow, okay? Yeah. I don't want to brag on my yeah. partner here, but when I got stuck, Natalie came out and she knew exactly. She did all that stuff for me, just shoveling and kitty litter and everything. She was. Sometimes she was experience great. pays off. Yeah. Tom, you're lucky to have good, strong friends. I appreciate that. Thank you, David. Be careful. Don't Dave. break your car. All right. It's almost 6:20. We'll be right back.